All right. Got a new Sunny V2 video, the tragic tale of Jackie Chan's son. Let's check it out. Jackie Chan's only Whoops. Only son hasn't had the easiest life. Between an unsuccessful film career and the time he spent in prison, JC Chan has been unable to live up to the JC high standard Chan. set by his father. And it all began with JC's luxury upbringing after his birth in 1982. At this point in time, Jackie Chan was permanently busy with acting and would therefore spend only two weeks per year with him. From what I've heard, Jackie Chan is kind of a piece of shit. Uh, I don't really know too many details, but from what I've heard, he's kind of a piece of shit. His son, <laughs> so which was quote, really contained me. in the household as they were too famous to go outside. His father's busy schedule meant that JC was raised almost entirely by his mother, who began to spoil him with luxuries afforded by Jackie Chan's fame and fortune. Jackie wrote in his memoir, when he was little, JC never had to worry about having enough food, how to pay his school fees, or if he needed to be driven anywhere. I would arrange it all. I regretted that later. No one should have have such a good life from their birth. Jackie Chan clearly believed this as his True. upbringing was almost the opposite. Brought up in dirt poor conditions by refugee parents who couldn't even afford to pay for his birth, wow. Jackie Chan was forced to develop discipline as well as an appreciation for scarcity. In addition to this, Jackie Chan's youth consisted of drama training all day long from 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. with breaks for lunch and dinner. Wow. When he misbehaved, <laughs> he was beaten with canes. When he fell Jesus. ill, he was told to suck it up, which Jackie Chan has since highlighted as beneficial in comparison to his son's upbringing. I really thank you, my teacher, to torture me, becoming Really, we never drop one rice on the table. Whenever I go back my home, I see my son's shoes, one like this, one like this. <laughs> one socks, not the socks. No discipline. JC's cushy childhood led Jackie Chan to write in his book, When he was a teenager, I definitely didn't think JC was pushing himself hard enough. I'd work all day, go jogging at night, then get back and say that he'd gone to bed, even though it was only nine something. I'd grumble, he's asleep already. I'd storm out in a bad mood and go jogging again, thinking when I was his age, I wished he could follow me around all day to see how much I did. Sometimes I'll have eight meetings in a row, right up until midnight, then I'll go home, do some exercise and read scripts. JC's clear lack of drive and ambition in comparison to his father, led JC to drop out of college at the end of his first year, stating, I wanted to be a musician. All you can see in Virginia is sheep. What? Other sources okay, state that he was weird. expelled from the school as a result of excessive drinking, unclean living conditions, oh and two God, semesters really? worth of unwarranted absences. JC's desire to become a musician was against the will of Jackie, who had not wished to see their son in show business. He wanted JC to be a lawyer, an engineer, or a doctor, as JC's mother had, quote, already lost her husband to this profession. Despite the wishes of his parents, JC moved from Los Angeles to Hong Kong in 2004, where he planned on cultivating his own successful story in music, stating, it is my- Is Jackie Chan big in China? Like, I think he is, right? I know he's obviously he's huge overseas, but like, what about over in, in China? To become no, no. famous based on my own abilities rather than rely on my image. JC was so confident in moving to China that he gave up his American nationality in exchange for Chinese nationality. However, it's possible that this choice came into question after is that his album. He has a song called JC's Burp. Okay he'd release his first album. Described in reviews as being a horrid absolute waste of money, oh the my album God. simply titled JC was a commercial failure. I kind of want to listen to this now. <laughs> I'm kind of curious what it sounds like. Uh, the reason for this, as described by JC himself, was because Hong Kong is different from other places. You need to do music and movies, leading JC to appear in his first film titled The Twins Effect 2, which received an IMDb rating of less than 5 out of 10 stars. And while it'd be ridiculous to expect an Avengers-level performance from JC's first on-screen appearance, the movies which followed weren't that much better. He'd appear alongside his father for Jackie Chan's 100th movie titled 1911, revolution, yet the collaboration resulted in Jackie Chan's least financially successful and least positively received pitch it a day, grossing only $127,000 before receiving a score Ooh. of 8% on Rotten oh Tomatoes. One year later, JC would play the main character in a movie called Double Trouble, which also entered media Jessica C? Headline. Later, JC would play the main character in a movie called Double Trouble, which also entered media headlines after grossing an even more pitiful nine thousand dollars during its first two weeks wait what oh my god wait it's considered one of the biggest box offices flops in history dude that 
Oof. That's Making it one big. of the biggest box office flops in history. Jeez. To add insult to injury, JC would then play the main role in a movie called Whoever, which despite a government mandate forcing it to be played in half of the country's cinemas, failed to crack the Chinese top 10. Wait, why was there a government mandate? 15 ratings on IMDb since its release in 2012. What? Wait. The only positive news for JC seemed to have been coming from his music career, as his second studio album would top Taiwanese charts in 2010. Although it seems the album hasn't achieved not much long-term success, as there's not even a single online review for the music, and it took about 30 minutes of digging just to find the track list. The performance of the album was unimportant anyway, because on the 14th of August 2014, JC would find himself in a profound new media scandal, making every prior controversy seem insignificant. Police would upload footage of JC Chan being arrested at his parents' $10 million luxury Beijing apartment, during which he'd admit to having approximately 100 grams of weed in his cupboard. This was extra Damn. bad for the Chan family's reputation, as Jackie Chan had been China's official anti-drug ambassador since 2009. Oh, no. For Not this reason, look. Jackie Chan would take to social media to apologize, writing, for my son JC to get into such trouble, I'm very angry and astonished. As a public figure, I'm ashamed. As a father, I'm heartbroken. I can't begin to describe his mother's pain. Dude, it's just weed, man. It's just weed. Come on. <sighs> I failed to be a good father and I deserve the blame. I will take the responsibility and apologize to the public on behalf of JC. In the process, Jackie practically disowned his son, stating that he hadn't and didn't plan on using any of his connections to lessen JC's sentence. I have not visited him even till now. I did not even use any connections to call anyone. If JC only went- I mean, that's a little fucked up from Jackie, honestly. Like, I know drug, drug restrictions are very uh, tight in China. Um, but yeah, I mean, come on. It's weak. Jail for one week or 10 days, how would the public look at us? We are public figures and all the more we have to abide by the laws, which was accompanied by Jackie Chan somewhat hilariously telling JC's lawyer to slap him twice for me. While Jackie Chan wanted absolutely slap nothing to do with JC, oh the God. Chinese government took the opposite approach, making a public anti-drug example out of JC by televising the trial, which would happen approximately four months after his arrest. JC God was damn, sentenced man. to six months in prison and was ordered to pay a $320 fine for possession as well as the crime of sheltering others to take drugs. JC took this sentence humbly, stating, I've broken the law and should be punished. When I return to society, I will not repeat this because I have let my family and friends down yet again, although this wasn't enough to satisfy his parents, who didn't even attend the trial. Whilst in prison, JC would send letters to his mother in which he explained that he experimented with drugs because of the bad crowd he was mixing with and started relying on drugs to soothe drugs. himself whenever he felt upset. <laughs> JC also wrote about the struggles he faced growing up in a famous family and revealed that the expectations of fame placed a lot of pressure on him. He then expressed his unhappiness with Jackie for not showing him enough concern. Was there pressure? However, his father wasn't rushed. The parents didn't want him to go into entertainment. ...to offer any kind of sympathy. Jackie Chan would state in an interview, I hope to be an anti-drug ambassador for life. I even hope that after JC is out, he can be an anti-drug ambassador too, telling everyone to stay away from drugs, which was followed by Jackie stating publicly that he supports the death penalty for certain serious offenses. Additionally, Jackie Jackie Chan would announce that Oof. he would donate the entirety of his reported $350 million net worth to charity and not pass it on to his oh, son, JC. I, yeah, I heard about that. If he is capable, he can make his own money. If he is not, then he would just That's be insane, wasting dude. my money. That is insane, man. That is insane. Wow, man. Oh, God, I would be so pissed. I would be so pissed. Like, oh, isn't that kind of the point of, like, Growing wealth is like not just for yourself, but for your future generations too to have and have a nice life. The know. problem is JC's earning capacity has been stifled pretty severely as a result of the public sentencing. For example, in the three years prior to his arrest, JC acted in 10 different movies. However, since his imprisonment almost 10 years ago, he's appeared in only three films, one of which he wasn't even credited for as a result of the scandal. JC also lost endorsements huh. from Adidas, Nivea, Yishion, Johnson & Johnson contact lenses, Stride Gum, KFC, and Chevrolet, with this rock bottom causing him to return That's to America, lot. even though he was no longer 
longer a citizen there. The father and son still share a residence Smoke in Hong in Kong, some places. though they don't spend much time together. As an actor, a businessman, and his city's unofficial goodwill ambassador at large, Jackie Chan has a busy schedule. The two seem to have reconciled since JC moved back to the USA, yet JC continues to differ himself, stating, I don't want to always follow my dad's footsteps. I want to be different, adding that he's tired of being a person in his father's shadow. Yeah, that since moving sucks. back to the US, JC has made efforts to turn his life around, directing his first film in 2021 titled Goodnight Beijing, and according to IMDb, he has another two movies on the way. Jackie I Chan mean, yeah, it definitely, yeah, it, it can definitely screw up someone, you know, being born into that much wealth and that much fame, like being the son of an, such a huge name. Uh, we've seen it before in like Tom, Han Tom Hanks' son too, where they just try to like, yeah, I don't know. They try to act out, I guess. I mean, he didn't really act out, kind of, I guess, where they don't really want to be like their dad, and, like in the sense that he didn't want to be as uptight as his dad, I guess. I don't know. I honestly feel bad for Jay. Listen to Shadow of Your Father your whole life. Yeah, no, that can, yeah, that can really suck.